the arts are universal and everyone loves them they add something extra to our lives but also people forget it's an economic engine five to ten percent of our economy is the arts so how come there's not enough arts funding for schools well we got save our stages i did which passed billions of dollars and saved every arts institution big little in between uh, during COVID, we'll keep fighting for money for the art. Well, the Kennedy Center Honors were founded here at the Kennedy Center, which is the national home for the performing arts. And the performing arts traditionally have been the orchestra, the, the opera, and the ballet. And so that's still very much a strong part of the center. Uh, but they offer everything. Now you can come here and see music theater and hip hop and jazz and every kind of art form. So that's what I love. Is we're part of a whole spectrum, like the colors, like the colors of art. Oh, he isn't uh, this year, but hopefully next year. He is. He loves the Kennedy Center Honors. This is the first time in probably 30 years that he hasn't been here. Uh, but I'm here with my son-in-law, Mahil Boss, and Mahil's wife, Alexandra, is with my husband. So, and how is he feeling? He's coming along. He's, he says, um, I'm on the path. I'm on the path. I'm on my way back. So. Um, as a comedian, is are comedians threatened by uh, like political discourse? No, you know you, you adapt to. You know, there's a time in this country people did racist jokes as a matter of course, or women are dumb driver jokes as a matter of course. And when a joke doesn't get laughs anymore, get rid of it and move on to something else. So that's sort of my feeling. <laughs> It's very special. You know, uh, I was in Israel. It was difficult. Um, you know, it's been difficult uh, to cover that story and um, what's happening in the world. Um, and as many people have acknowledged, acknowledge, this is one of the most challenging times ever with many of the different conflicts that are ongoing and the very, very weighty policy issues that present to Congress that they certainly need to deal with um, in the next couple of weeks. But the arts bring people together. And that's why Washington can celebrate these events in a way that nobody else can. And hopefully it's a way for people to get together and find common ground. Unlike anyone else, no one sounds like her. And she's very, very individual. And I, I think it's a really how, how, how are you feeling these days? I know there was a tra there's a home invasion and a tragedy. To have that all behind you, how does that feel no, now? It's not behind me. We still continue uh, to go forward. and uh, But uh, nonetheless, hopeful and uh, looking forward to better days. But in any case, uh, again, something that we all enjoy, the arts for a moment, and hopefully for longer than that, something that is unifying in our country. We must be unified as we go forward. She was inspired by the early females in hip hop, like Queen Latifah, Roxanne Shante, and Spark. Well, I mean, it's wonderful, and Billy's thrilled, which is terrific. And, you know, Billy has this theory about uh, stars, movie stars, television stars, that they have big heads. And Billy's head is fairly large. And the only hope is that tonight won't make his head any bigger because it's big enough. So that's the hope. So, the center honor really, it's interesting because I made a speech about this last night to the honorees. Uh, it's more than about what you've done lately. It's not about your performance in a movie. It's not about your performance anywhere specific. It's about you providing something special to the arts. And I'm enunciating a lot because it's that important. It's about the arts. It's not an Oscar where you did a wonderful performance in a movie. Nothing wrong with that. I have one, I can tell you. But what is really important is that you have now become an official, as, as you, can, you can say that, an official uh, awardee who has entered the world of the arts.